down on your luck, stuck in a dead-end job, or maybe you're just vying for a decent meal, it's a good thing the God of Rock can help. Developed by Modus Studios Brazil and published by Modus Games, you'll be taking up the mantle and helping some of the many characters achieve their dreams in this fighting slash rhythm game hybrid. Kudos to the team, especially for their first game I believe, for boasting about that first part, because the words fighting and game usually scare off about 90% of the gaming population. But I would like to tell those people that God of Rock is nothing like those scary Zerds or Tekkens. In fact, its simplified control scheme, kind buffer system, and rhythm gameplay leaves for a unique experience even if I ultimately left it feeling lukewarm. Clean those guitar strings and bring the electronic duster. You'll need them to reach your dreams. Modus Studios Brazil takes the idea of rhythm gaming, matching unique sequences of buttons relative to the rhythm of the beat, and brings that to a fighting game tournament, where players seek to whack each other with specific sequences of buttons or button mashing at the right time to knock out the other guy and win the game. It's a pretty cool idea, even if versing an opponent in a rhythm battle isn't particularly new. Players of yore will remember Guitar Hero's face-offs, Tycho's 1v1 mode, or even that one Friday Night Funkin' that was the talk of the town for a while. God of Rock seeks to elevate that idea by offering characters with unique abilities that players must use to take out their opponent while rocking it out to the game's 40 plus tracklist, filled to their brim with rock and roll, though no vocals unfortunately. Besides hitting notes to the rhythm of the beat, you'll use your character's fighting game-esque move list to disrupt the other player's performance. The game ends and one player is ultimately knocked out, which means it's a fight to the death because a song will only get harder and harder until one of you just can't keep up. One thing I like about this game is the dynamic nature of the note charts it presents to the player. Songs of a set difficulty, but get easier or harder depending on how the player performs. I feel it keeps for a fair fight, but isn't a crush to the opponent who may have mastered their character or the song itself. And for what it's worth, once you're in the groove of the song, it can be pretty fun. I played in hours with the local multiplayer with my siblings and we kept switching up characters to see who we liked best. I ultimately settled on Johan and Top Hat for their damage output, and well, cause they were cool. Other characters have healing or other specialties that can change the game up pretty well, even with the simplified move list and buffer window. The buffer window being a set of time given to input a command for a move. So it's a bit of a shame then that the game's combination, or possible execution, doesn't work as well as I would have hoped. There are two games fighting for your attention in God of Rock, a rhythm game and of course a fighting one. You're focused on your notes, situated at the bottom of the screen, trying to make sure you can keep up with the song, but all the while you need to KO your opponent to win the round, which means you need to fight. That means often you'll be dropping musical notes to deal out damage, which can be just as punishing to you as it is to your opponent. One thing I really don't like doing is dropping combos in rhythm games, and I don't feel compelled to engage with the fighting game aspect of God of Rock when I'd rather just be jamming it out. See, even if I focus on the fighter in God of Rock, you still need to actively engage with the rhythm aspect to not lose. In other music games, the best way to punish your opponent was to simply be better at the one game, the rhythm game. And while there is some complexity in knowing when to best put out a move in a song to make it harder for the other guy, I just ultimately didn't find it engaging to do so when it would often just punish me instead. The user interface doesn't help either. On a large screen, I'm more focused on my note taking, but my health bar is all the way at the top of the screen. Me having to frequently glance up and down to figure out how the game is going ultimately didn't cut it for me. On the bright side, I would catch glimpses of the fighting the characters do, and I gotta say how much I like the aesthetics of the game and the characters. They're a very charming cast, with funny down in the dump storylines, and I'm happy to see fighting game characters get good endings in their respective stories for once. I don't think the aesthetics translate well to 3D, however, as the models and environments are subject to this Vaseline smeared world and funky looking lighting. Playing this game, I also happened to hear my Xbox's fans for the first time ever. It was a pleasant, if not an adorable little world. I'm not quite sure where all that power is going though. The audio mixing could use some tweaking too. Rhythm games should always prioritize the volume of the song being played, as well as the notes being hit and missed. Everything else is secondary. God of Rock is a unique rhythm game experience that offers a lot in the way of gameplay options and content. Online and crossplay are also present, alongside a custom note track maker for songs that's easy to use. And while I like the idea and the aesthetics, I felt that the game doesn't really know whether to focus on being a fighter or a rhythm game, and I ultimately left it with middling feelings. With the right tweaks, I think God of Rock could improve greatly, and the team is promising content to come in the future, which I'll be looking forward to. We're fighting now! Focus! <laughs> 